week's lesson is to do with converting data types. So converting from one variable to the next. And we'll demonstrate this by converting a float number into an integer and we'll convert a character into an integer as well, into a number. So that'd be interesting. Okay, so we'll start our script with include again stdio.h and then we say main we open the main function we open it up and now put int so we're declaring two um, two variables of integer type and we're going to declare a float variable as well and a char a character variable we're going to put the values in so DC which is the float 7.5 the character char we're going to put an A capital A now here I just want to point out uh, we've used a single quote here we could have simply used a double quote as well okay but we're just trying to do some different types so you can get used to that you can actually use it, use either or the quotations so now to convert from one type to another we use something called casting now casting basically what it does it converts uh, one type of variable into the other so what we're going to do we're going to take the decimal and we're going to put that number 7.5 into an integer type num1 okay so we're going to do that now so int1 gonna put so what we're saying here we're saying convert it into an integer so make this an integer and put it into there that's basically what we're saying here okay we can do the same with num2 which is the other integer variable we're going to put int but this time we're going to place the character A, letter A. Okay? So we're going to just put here letter, letter. Say print F. Now we're going to print the output. Say num1 is, and if you recall from a previous um, lesson, we talked about the output formats. So we said percent %d is for a whole number so we want it to, to come out into, as a whole number we're going to start a new line and we're going to just output num1 and see what that, how that comes out like and now I'm going to print f again <coughs> print f whoops print f I'll put num2 now is now remember that's the character so that should give us a number as well. Num two. Okay, and that's about all the program. So what we're doing here, we're just going to print the output of num one and the output of num two. Num one we've placed the float seven point five, and in num two we placed the a, and it should convert uh, via casting. I, these both values into whole numbers okay so we're going to save that and we're going to call that whole val val okay and we're going to place that in the C examples here so save I will say run compile no errors fantastic I'm going to run again this time I'm going to build okay it's done so we're looking now for a whole val dot exe okay, so let's have a look at the command prompt diw and now we're looking for whole val which is here whole ok and it gives us number 7 and it gives us 65. Now what is 65? Well, we remember that the character was an A. Now 65
65 represents the ASCII code. Let me just type like this down here. ASCII code. So every character on, on the computer has a code from 0 to 127. And basically what, what the 65 refers to is the A. 65 in ASCII equals an A, capital A. So that's it for this lesson and look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.